Hey everybody, it's Austin Ward for Letterman Row. Welcome into our headquarters. We've got Chimdi Chekwal, former Ohio State and NFL cornerback in the building, breaking down Ohio State and those defensive backs as spring comes to a close. And you know, Chimdi, it's been hard to get a feel for exactly where this Sean Wade is going to line up. It seems like he can be a safety someday, a corner yeah. someday, he's in the nickel. What is it about this guy that is so valuable, versatile for these Buckeyes? I think he really has a nose for the ball. Um, some guys just have those those instincts, those natural natural instincts, and I think. Uh, just watching him, being able to attack the ball, um, being able to be in good position and know I can get my head around and go get the ball now. It's something that um, a lot of guys try to develop, but he just kind of naturally has it. How how rare is it, to, from what your experience has been, NFL, Ohio State, to see somebody who has that ability to maybe go between corner or safety and, and line up in maybe every spot? How rare are some of those traits that he has? Um, it's It's rare. It's also very important, I think, at the next level because you – you know, at the next level, that, that third receiver, that fourth receiver, a lot of teams are focusing on those guys, getting them matched up against uh, players who are, 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 are lesser coverage players. Yeah. So to be able to, you know, move inside and cover uh, receivers and also go up and make, make plays uh, on the running back are important. Seems like Sean Wade is a name that keeps coming up, coming up for Ohio State, that the Buckeyes want to get him on the field and just see him more. It's just hard, right? I mean, there's a bunch of talent in that secondary. A lot of talent. There's always a lot of talent at, at Ohio State. Um, that's just the way it is. And um, that talent just uh, makes it more competitive. And, you know, guys are better when they leave here. So, Sean Wade, looking to make that impact here as, uh, as Ohio State transi transitions out of spring camp into summer training camp there in August. Sean Wade's going to be part of those plans. Chimney Chekwa is going to break down why he should be. Let's roll the tape. Well, Chimney, just for starters here, if there's one thing that every I heard over and over and over last year was these cornerbacks were not getting their head around. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's an example. Sean Wade uh, stays in phase, as I've heard Taver Johnson say before, and you'll, you'll hear a lot of defensive back coach say, maybe it's not the greatest throw in the world, but if you don't turn your head around, you're not going to pick it off anyway. Yeah, not the greatest yeah. throw. Not the greatest receiver in the world also. Uh, <laughs> Wade is, is clearly the better athlete in this, this matchup, and he just does, does a good job of being in phase, being in position. And once he's in position – getting his head around and being able to turn himself into the receiver. That ball is coming to him once he gets his head around. When you watched last year, was it as frustrating for you as it seemed to be for fans? Because I can, I think I heard on Twitter or on comments on LettermanRoad.com a thousand times, yeah. why won't they turn around? Yeah. Was, was it frustrating for you or did you understand kind of? I think I understand because, you know, the, one of the things fans always get frustrated with about corners is getting their head around. But they don't understand the challenges of getting your head around. So if you get, it, get your head around... A lot of times you slow down just naturally. When you're looking back, you're not as fast as when you're running uh, straight. And then if the receiver pushes you off and you've already slowed down, he slows you down even more. So that creates separation. The most important thing is for, for the DB to be able to get in phase and get into the receiver and get in the position where even when I get my head around, I'm still in the lead position, which is what Wade does here. And this turns out pretty well. Gets that pick. Uh, one of three this year for Sean Wade. And we'll, we'll see more of those as we roll on here on Buck IQ. But before we get to that, another example of why he's a, a versatile defender that we talked about off the top. Somebody who can come in and play in the box and make a Boom. hit like this. And I know you got to like seeing this <laughs> yeah, uh, against Michigan. Love it. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like the quarterback set this guy up just a little bit. Um, this is a, this is the guy who guaranteed. It's guaranteed a victory right there. Yeah, his, his quarterback must not have liked that. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he just laid it out there for uh, Wade to make a perfect a perfect tackle, perfect hit, um, textbook, and that's just a hell of a play. It, these situations when you've got to come up and defend a running back in the flat or rely on your speed, read and react, how difficult are these plays uh, for a defensive back to make? They shouldn't be too difficult if your technique is solid. I think Wade, just like when we watched Okuda earlier, um, he does a good job of staying flat. Uh, you want to make sure you're, you're, you're taking the right angle. He stays flat so that he's in position, and once that ball is let go, then he triggers um, and, go, and goes and makes the play. That one really kind of set the tone there for Ohio State as they pulled away in the second half. Big play from Sean Wade. Roll on. You looked at you know two other plays earlier in the year uh, where he was able to get his hands on the ball. I know that there's no such thing to a cornerback as a bad pick, right? <laughs> no. Sometimes there's they no come a little thing. bit easier than others. Yeah, it, sometimes they do, but it's interesting. Uh, there's a lot of picks that should have should be made that don't happen, and a lot of those a lot of times the reason why is because you're so concerned about the receiver, you forget that that ball is going to that receiver. So when you're in good coverage, you get your head around, look look for the ball, and uh, go attack the ball. A lot of guys don't do it. And you see Wade is a guy that does do it. That's why he's getting so many <laughs> of these picks. That's, that's been the thing, right? Like, 
he's making plays when he's out there. Sometimes yeah. they're easy against Rutgers. We'll see the last one uh, later on here. You know, they. But if you're not uh, putting yourself in the right spots, you're not going to make the plays. If you're not playing with confidence, you're not going to finish those plays. And if you're not, if your mindset isn't attack the ball, if you're not thinking I'm going to go pick this ball off, you're not going to get the pick. And this one here, you know, the, the ball obviously comes out of Lewerke's hand poorly. Uh, he gets hit and there's pressure. Yeah. But we've seen other Ohio State defensive backs the last couple of years or, you know, last season didn't have their head around, weren't ready to come up and, and find, identify the football. Yeah. This could be tricky too, right? Yeah, you see there in the man-to-man -man coverage. And what I like about what he's doing is he, he's playing his coverage, he's playing his man, but because his man runs an inside route, he can also see where the ball is. So he makes sure that I'm going to continue to play my man, but I'm going to also see the ball. And once that ball comes out, he's going to attack the ball. A lot of guys, <laughs> they stare at the receiver. If the receiver stops, they stop. And then the ball would have just landed in the dirt. Yeah, he seems to be the only one interested in finishing the play. <laughs> <laughs> and, right. that's, and that's the key, right? You keep fighting. I think that's why people like Sean Wade so much, is this, this guy seems to have a lot of energy, uh, a lot of willingness to go out there and compete. Yeah, he's a ball hawk. And you get that tag, it's, it's really helpful on the next level. You get that tag of being a ball hawk. All right, so we'll see exactly how Ohio State can continue to use that. Sean Wade's going to have to be in the plans for Ohio State to get that secondary, those, those DBU back on track. Jimmy Chekwa, hopefully he'll be breaking that down with us all year right here looking at those uh, guys in the secondary. Jimmy, thanks for hanging out with us on uh, Letterman Road Buck IQ. Yeah, thanks for having me. Man. Next time for Chimney, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you at Buck IQ.